You're going to create an international incident. I know I am, but I won't do that. We just had a caller on Easy CD Creator 5, right? It, let me tell you something. It's almost cheaper right now to buy a new CD burner than it is to buy new CD burning software. The software. Now, doesn't it doesn't come figure. with the software. I mean, I just bought the uh, Pioneer AO5 burner, and it came well, with a strip. Well, that's a DVD burner. Yeah, it came with a strip-down version. Right. Well, that's a $300 piece of hardware. Right. Now, most CDR, CDRW drives are selling for like 50 to 70 bucks. Some have software. Some have some software right. you never heard about. If you're lucky, you can find one that's bundled with Nero, which is still my favorite I agree. CDR we all DVD love burning Nero. software. Yes. Here we go, though. Hey, I had to get this in to test it. Easy CD Creator. He actually, I should take it back. Easy CD and DVD Creator 6.0. Because it's not just a piece of software. It's a digital media suite. I just wanted to see if they could get it to the point where Easy CD Creator, Easy CD Creator 5, has caused horrible problems we stopped using for a it. huge percentage yes, of the, it's just basically. And it's not unusual. Some people have no problems with it, even running it under XP. Some people, it wipes their system. It's so nasty, did ugly. you try this on a fresh install of XP? I tried it on a fresh install. I had it on an older install. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how did it work? It worked fine. The thing, Good. judging from, from reading through uh, Roxio's boards, the number one thing when installing Easy CD Creator 6 is to make sure you have uninstalled all previous versions of Easy CD Creator. The reason, by the way, that you have these problems is because it has to have low-level drivers right. for the CD burner, ASPI drivers or something similar, yeah. and those always manage to conflict. And there are some horror stories, oh. uh, even on Roxia's own websites, about mm -hmm. problems people have had installing this. So be very, very careful. Second thing is, is this is not, this is no longer CDR burning software. In fact, I'll check this out. If you look at the, at the page I like here, the new interface. The it's new pretty. interface, it's soft, it's fuzzy, it's warm. They've always had a pretty interface. But Kind of going from sort of the iLife for the PC. Check this out. Is they that got the idea. It's kind of it does everything. Well, think about it this way: the disc copier, which actually works pretty well, Audio Central, which combines all the audio editing features, and it's an MP3 player. It's so got support for MP3 Pro wow. Aug Vorbis, a DVD wow. building utility, which apparently doesn't do chapters. I wasn't able to verify That's this. Good. That's not good. Photo Suite, which is MGI's Photo Suite, which is lumped in here, and That's Creator nice Classic. Package. Yeah. Up to a possible 815 megabyte install, <laughs> of which the CD burning software is a whopping 27 megabytes. A couple things I noticed: what they call drag to disk now, which is the stuff that allows you to actually drag and packet drop. writing exactly. Software. Only it actually works cleanly with that pain, nice. which is something I've never run into. That's before. very nice, and that works both for CD uh, RW and DVD yeah. RW. Creator Classic, you know, the, the soft and warm and fuzzy interface. Basically, it's it's the same it's stuff the same. you're used to. Yeah. DVD builder, not too bad. Some interesting features tucked in there. If you need CD burning software, I'm sticking with Nero Burning ROM 5.5. Download it, try it on the web. 50 bucks. If you want something that's similar to iLife, where it's got photo editing and the ability to build DVDs and some very limited video editing and such, Easy CD Creator 6 has possibilities. It's an $80 piece of software. Read around, check to make sure your drives are supported, check to see what problems people are having with different operating systems before you buy it. Because I'm still a little gun shy of Roxio's products at right. this point, or at least the, the CD burning products. All right. That's, There's that's Patrick's review. Cool. That's everything you ever want to know about version 6. Yeah. Coming up, Pat's got a list of the top five things he noticed. It ended up being 11. 11? Oh, that's 11. on the website. Yeah. 5 plus 6 is 11 at thestringsavers.com. <laughs>